Hi guys, it's John here, and today we're gonna to be setting up a couple of pre-search nodes. So I've put time code in the description, obviously, so you can skip to the relevant part that you require. So we'll set one up on Windows, and we will set one up on Linux as well. And just for fun, we're gonna set one up on our Flux node. So what is a pre-search node exactly? Basically, an on-chain version of Google, and by providing a node, you get rewarded in the pre-token. So the reason I haven't set up a pre-search node before is because the price was very high, and and it was just too expensive really to get into it. But now that the price has come down by 94%, I think it's a good time to get into this and just set up a couple of nodes for hopefully the next bull run. So it costs 4,000 pre to set up a node and you have to stake that in your pre-search accounts. So that's just under $200 at the current price. Now you can buy pre on KuCoin. You'll then need to stake it in a pre-search account, which you create on the pre-search website. Obviously links to this all down in the description. You can see I've already got my pre ready to stake. Okay, so like I said, you'll be rewarded in pre-tokens and depending on what your node does, you will get varying amounts of pre, obviously. So you can see here all the different operations a node can do. So depending on your node setup, you will get more or less pre and it'll obviously vary per month depending on how much your node is used. So I'm gonna start with the Linux version. There's time codes in the description if you want to skip to any particular part. But let's get on with the Linux install now. It's pretty simple to do. You just need to install Docker and then the pre-search software. And then we can stake our tokens on the staking dashboard. So don't forget, you do need, obviously, to have your account set up on the pre-search site. So make sure you get that set up first. Get your pre in there so it's all ready to go. And then we can get staking. Okay, so the instructions I'm running through are available on the pre-search site, obviously. So I'm just going through those step by step. So the first step is obviously to install Docker. So the system requirements for Docker on Linux is that it needs to be a 64-bit processor. So you need a 64-bit OS. If you don't have one, then you will need to upgrade or reinstall with a 64-bit version. You also need four gigs of RAM, but this computer I have here, which I run uh, some other bits and pieces on, is more than enough for the job. So the Docker instructions do show exactly what you need to do. So again, I'll put a link to this in the description, but I'm just gonna run through them and we'll go through them on the screen. So it's saying first, you need to run sudo apt install gnome terminal. So we're gonna run that now. So it's 400 megabytes, so let's just continue. Okay, next up it says to run the remove Docker desktop. Now we don't have this installed, so it won't actually do anything, uh, but we're just running it anyway, just for completeness. Okay, so next up we're gonna set up the Docker repository. So again, all the commands are gonna be run from the site. So we're gonna do sudo apt get update. This should be fine. We'll just run this. Again, pasted from the website. Add the Docker's official GPG key, and then set up the repository with the following command. Okay, we're gonna do another sudo apt get update. Then the next command we're gonna do is going to install the Docker engine. Click on yes to confirm. Okay, that just takes a few moments. And now to verify that the engine is installed correctly, we will run this hello world command. And you see here, we get the hello from Docker and it shows that the installation appears to be working. Okay, so we can check Docker is installed and running correctly by just doing a sudo docker ps and there's no containers running, but we know that Docker itself it's running okay. So now what we're gonna do is use from the install guide here, this text here, I'm gonna copy all of this. We'll just open up a new notepad here, pop that in. And what we need to do is get our registration code here. So what we'll do, we'll go to nodes.presearch.com slash dashboard, and we're gonna get our registration code here, which we can copy here. And then what we're gonna do is replace everything from the dollar across and paste in our registration code. I'm going to sudo su and then hit enter on the command. We just refresh the page there and we can see here we have our node showing up. So let's just give this a description so we don't forget exactly uh, what it is. So this is our name here. And here we can say exactly how much we want to stake, and we obviously want to stake the 4,000. We can also tick these boxes to let us notify us if our node goes offline. So that's it, we can update this. 
Node updated, and our balance is 4614 now. And we can see we've got 4,000 stakes. So we'll go back to our node list, and here's our node. In fact, I'm just going to edit the name so we know which is which. So that is our Linux node done. Okay, so let's come out of here with a control C and we'll just run a Docker PS here. And here we go, we can see our preset node running under Docker. So that's all looking good. Now remember, you can only run one node per IP. So if you've only got one internet connection, then you can only run one node. Now, fortunately, I do have two. So I'm gonna set up my Windows node now. Okay, so we're here on our Windows server now and we are going to go to the following website, which I'll put in the description, obviously, which is the Docker desktop for Windows. So we're gonna click on here to start it downloading, about 600 megabytes, so it'll just take a couple of minutes. Okay, then once it's downloaded, we're gonna click on open file, and then click on yes. We can close off the browser now. Okay, so this setup does take a fair bit of time, so be sure you've got a cup of tea or coffee ready whilst doing this part. Just press okay to accept the defaults here and then let this carry on. So like I say, it will take some time, so we'll be back once it's finished installing. Okay, so once the install's finished, we're gonna click close and restart, and we'll wait for the computer to come back online. Okay, so you might find that you get stuck with this Docker desktop starting, and it says here, engine starting. So if you have that issue, just right click on your Docker in the taskbar there and just quit it. Wait for it to quit, just take a moment or two, and then once it's quit, we just need to run a quick command. Okay, so open up a administrator command prompt, and type the following command, WSL space hyphen hyphen update. And this will download the Windows subsystem. Just click on yes when it pops up. So I have no idea why this doesn't get installed uh, by default on the Windows Docker desktop, but uh, it doesn't. So well, it certainly doesn't in Windows 11. So anyway, just get this downloaded and then you should find once it's finished, if we start Docker desktop back up, then it should start working. So you can see here it's been installed. So go to your Docker desktop, just right click and run as administrator. Click on yes. Okay, so we can see it's working now. You can see the run a sample container is showing now and you can see the little green whale in the bottom is now green. So we're now ready to get our pre-search node installed. Okay, so now we're happy that Docker is finally running okay. What we're going to do is get the instructions here and just copy this command line from step three into a notepad file. We're gonna do step two, but let's just do step three first because we need this ready to put our registration code in here. So just open up a notepad file on your computer, turn on word wrap if it's not already on so you can see properly. Okay, so what we need to do is actually replace this section here with our pre-search registration code. So make sure you highlight the dollar as well. So what we'll do, we'll go to nodes.presearch.com slash dashboard and we're gonna get our registration code here, which we can copy here. And that's what we're gonna paste into our notepad file here. Okay, once you've copied that and pasted that in, just do a control A and a control C to copy all of this into your clipboard. You can now minimize this and in your administrative command prompt window, we're just gonna right click to paste that in. Hit on enter. Don't worry about the errors, that's just saying that it's not currently installed and you'll see it's now starting to pull down the files required. Okay, and there we go, it's now listening for searches. So now if we go back to our dashboard and just refresh this, we should see our new node appear. So this is my Linux one, so I'm gonna just call this, we'll call it Windows, that's my Windows version. I'm gonna stake 4000 pre here, and we can do a tick on here to send emails if it disconnects or reconnects. Leave everything else as default. You can stake more if you wish. Some people say you get more free rewarded for staking more. I'm not 100% sure if that's true or not, but I'm just gonna do the 4,000 here and click on update for that. So we should see once it finishes, let's go back to our node list here. Okay, so we can see here we're connected. That's all looking good. You see my node that I set up yesterday actually has been rewarded almost five pre already, just in a day. So that's not bad at all. So yeah, that's how you set it up on Windows. So now what we're gonna do is also set up on our Flux node. So if you've got a Flux node, 
if you followed my previous video, you can also set up a pre-search node on your Flux node. So let's go through that now and see how it's done. Now it's a bit annoying. You do have to pay two Flux per month to run a pre-search node on your Flux node. Um, I don't see how that's fair particularly, but either way, we're gonna set one up anyway, just to see how it's done. And you know, you can always disable it or let it run out if you don't fancy carrying on. So let's go on to apps, then click on to Flux nodes, and then we're just going to open our Cumulus node here and go to Flux OS. Okay, and then we go to apps and then local apps. We can see our pre-search node here. So if you can't see this in your list, you can just search for pre-search and you can see it's actually here and you click on there. So all we have to do is actually get our registration code again from our pre-search nodes section here. Let's just copy that. Then we go back to our Flux OS page and click Control V here to paste it. And now if we just scroll down a bit, we can now do start launching the Marketplace app. So let's click on there. And you can see if you scroll down, your registration code will appear under here that you've pasted in. So click on next. We then need to sign the message with our Zelcor wallet. So just click on that and then press open. Pop in your pin, press sign and send, click on close. Go back to here and click next. And then you can see here price per month is two flux. So we're gonna click register flux app. So that's been registered okay, so we can click on next. Now it's gonna ask us to send two flux to the following address. So we click on here, pay with Zelcor, and then click on open. This will just sort it all out for us. We don't have to copy and paste anything. It's gonna do two flux to that address. So let's proceed. You can see the speed uh, you can set fast or slow here. We'll just leave it as normal and just click on send and click yes. Pop in your pin if you've got one set up and the transaction has now been sent. Okay, so now back on our pre-search nodes dashboard, we'll hopefully see a new device appear. May take a moment for it to show up. Okay, so it didn't actually take too long, probably about five minutes or so, and I can now see the node has appeared here. So what I can now do is give this a better name. It's automatically state here as well, which is nice. And we're gonna give this the name of Flux node and we can click a send email on disconnect and reconnect and click on update and there we have it we've got our two nodes running now and you've seen how to do it on both linux windows and on a flux node so hopefully this was useful for you if you've got any questions at all do leave them down below i have got links to everything in the description so if you want to sign up to binance or kucoin those are affiliate links and links to obviously all of the documentation that i've used here in this video but yeah if you get stuck let me know down below. I will do my best to help out where possible. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again in the next video.